What is up guys, Stark here. I am back for another Fate video. And in today's video, we're taking a look at the new news on Japan, which has a new event and a new banner. So, so yeah, a new event's coming. And this one's gonna kind of be like a board game, I guess. I'm kind of just taking a look at it for the first time right now. Um, but it looks pretty cool, pretty interesting. Uh, so we got three new characters coming out. So we'll have a obviously a new event character. And then we'll have two other characters that are coming out in the gacha. So yeah, uh, basically it's going to be like any other event here. Except one thing to note is that the four star event character will not temporarily join your team. Or at least that's what it looks like here. Again, um, with my J Japan news videos, some of the translations might not be completely accurate. So I apologize for any little mistakes that are made. But the event period will be from today, May 25th, until June 8th, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to try and stay on top of this one and hopefully complete my first new event on Japan. Most of the events I completed have just been like reruns, so it would be cool to actually get one of them done, uh, you know, at the start. So in order to do this, all you have to do is clear the tutorial like most other, you know, events. So I'm good there, I still haven't completed the story yet, but I'm far enough to do this, so that counts for me uh, next along they had a social media campaign here which they've already I believe they've already gotten it because I got the 12 st. quartz in the mailbox when I logged in earlier I'm pretty sure that's the ones from this event so log in and get your 12 st. quartz and then here's a little promo package for the event we're not gonna watch it uh, I don't think the links gonna work on the actual game itself we'd have to go to the website uh, let's see, try and go down a little bit further here. So this is going to explain a little bit how it works. You have different dice. There's like a whole bunch of different dice types. I want to say there's six. And you'll use these to move on the board. And I guess that's the board. I haven't actually gone into it, so I don't know exactly how it works. But uh, you go onto the board, you roll the dice, and you land on these different spaces. And I'm guessing the spaces, you know, do different things, give you different rewards and quests and missions. There's missions. Uh, there's like achievements and stuff. Uh, let me see if I can find the picture. It's a little bit further down, I guess. Uh, we'll get to it in a second then. Um, yeah, so some of the quests will unlock later on. Different days. So the 25th, the 27th, 29th, and 30th will unlock different quests for us. So, you know, sometimes you might catch up and you have to wait until the next bit of story is unlocked. So next up here we do have uh, the different dice types. Let me just scroll down a little bit. Here we go. So uh, you can the first one is going to let you move between one and six spaces. The next one will be between one and three spaces, and then the one after that will be between four and six spaces. So I guess if you need to land on a certain square, you'll be able to choose which different dice you want to get. And then the last three will be like individual rolls so you'll have like a, a dice that does one move two movement spots three movement spots and that's i believe that's all they could do i think the dice are just six sided with like the one two and three on it so if you need to move one square to get something done then you're gonna roll that one dice and move that one space so i don't know if you can like pick which dice you roll but if you can hold on to those then that'd be a pretty good idea so you can you know, keep them for when you need to move those extra bits of spaces and because of that there's a little board here which has like different types of achievements and things that you can do and you can do get different rewards based on that and you can get like command codes and let's see this I want to say this yeah there's 16 bonus quests so you can get quantum pieces you can get command codes let's see I'm not sure what oh the event upgrade so Hold on, let's go down here to uh, number 12. 12, 13, 14, and 15. Those are going to be the uh, Noble Phantasm copies for the event character. I guess their name is Itsumi. So you're going to have to do these bonus quests in order to get the uh, extra copies of the character. And then the last one is going to be a super bonus quest, which will give you 10 million quantum pieces if you complete it. Uh, so this is pretty cool. It looks like it's pretty cool in my opinion. And then there's also missions that go with it. So this is your typical one here. You'll have different missions 
It says 30 on the picture. I'm not sure if there's actually going to be 30 or more missions. We'll have to go in and look. But um, typical missions, you do the requirements, you unlock more missions, and so on and so forth. And then, of course, there's going to be characters that are going to have bonuses for this. So for this one, the event character will get uh, two times success for leveling up. I believe that's what it says. Yeah, experience points will be doubled. So that that's cool. I really like that they do this. That gives you the chance to level up the event character while the event's going on, so you can max them out and then move on to other characters later on when you the, when the event's done. Additionally, there are characters that will get attack bonuses and bond bonuses, and I'm not sure if that's a new thing for this or not. But I do like the fact that characters will also get increased bonds as you use them in. So for the maximum bonus, you have the three new characters. So they'll have a 100% increase to their attack and 50% increase to the bond. And that will be the uh, new event character. So a four star Lancer. Okay, I was, I was curious what class she was, but she's a Lancer, okay. So then you have the new four star Berserker. Uh, what's her name? It's like Kijoyo Koyo. That's probably way off. I'm not sure about the actual name there. Um, and then the 5 star foreigner, Voyager, that's going to be the, the banner character. Well, both of those two characters are in the same banner, but that's going to be the 5 star for the banner. And then after that, for 50% increase to attack and then 20% uh, increase to bond, you're going to have Emia Alter, Marie Antoinette, Thomas Edison, and Nursery Rhyme. And then if you use MASH, all of your allies will get 5% increase to the bond EXP. So that's pretty cool. If you bring MASH in, you know, all your allies will get that little bit of extra bond. And then for a 30% increase to attack and a 20% increase to bond, you're going to have Archer Inferno, Okeanos Caster, Mozart, the, uh, the elephant thing. I think it's the elephant. I don't know his name. And uh, who's the last character? I'm not sure who that is. Let's go up here a little bit. Who am I missing? Osaka Behime. Okay. Now, who's the one on the end? I'm not sure who this character on the end is. No, it's not the elephant. Okay. That's the one The one on the end. Oh, no. Is it the elephant? Is that the, the final artwork for the elephant? I don't even know. Hold on. Checking. I've never seen the final artwork for it. Yeah, it is. Okay. So, Ganesha is... I've never... I didn't realize that was the final artwork. Okay, so yeah. Those are the characters that will get rated up for this event. And then, of course, there are craft essences as well. So, you have those to increase your drop rates and event items and all that stuff. But at this point, we're all used to that. So, let's scroll down a little bit more. This is just going to show us within the shop. And I think after that, we're just going to get to, uh, well, these are the, the command codes that you can get in the event. And then uh, we're just going to go down to, all right, so there's a few more things here before the, the actual banner. So there's an update to the My Room. Let's see what it says. It is now possible to hide all UI from the display switching button in my room. I'm not really sure what that means, but. Oh, I guess you could just. You can hide all the buttons. So you can just see the picture of your servant in the background without any of the buttons or anything in the way. Okay, I mean, that's that's pretty cool, actually. Um, we'll, we can test that out after we're done with this. And then, let's see what's after this. They added another like update to the pre-battle screen. It'll uh, help show you like the enemy drops and what enemies are in the fight. So you don't have to keep backing out and like clicking on the little eye. You can just do it right there. And then there's also another icon there for your previous quest. So you'll be able to see what quest you did last without uh, having to click it, I guess. I'm not really sure how that works. I don't think Global has that yet. If, it, if they do, I really don't pay attention to it. <laughs> All right, so here's the banner. Uh, so like I said, you have two new characters, the five-star Voyager, which is a foreigner character, and then the four-star Berserker. We'll just call her 
Koyo. Not much else really to talk about here on this banner. There are two new characters, and then you have your event craft essences. We're actually going to do a couple pulls here as soon as we finish talking about this. Um, I don't have too many Saint Courts on Japan, and I really don't feel like making this like a pay to play account. I kind of want to keep it free to play. But this is my first real event in Japan that isn't a rerun, so I am going to do pulls and hope to get the characters. I've looked at the, uh, the skills, and... They seem pretty good. Voyager looks really good, in my opinion. So, maybe, hopefully we can get them. If not, hopefully at least we get some craft essences for the event to help kind of boost our, our event drop rates and stuff. So anyway, yeah, we're going to go ahead and... Well, first we'll look at the My Room update and see exactly what's going on there. So apparently just... I don't know how you do it. No, I don't want that one. Okay, so I guess that's the update where you can get it without, you know, the buttons. I don't know. I don't even know if that's actually the update or not, but whatever. All right, uh, let's go ahead and just get into the actual, uh, the polls here. I'm not going to do it in a separate video because I'm only doing two multis. Yeah, I have, I have enough for two multis. I don't have two quarts left over, so we're going to go in for two 11s and then see what happens. We're not going to skip through it. I don't have enough characters where it makes sense to skip. If I skip, it's probably just going to give me a whole bunch of new stuff anyway. That isn't going to really be new, but just something I don't have on this account. Off to a pretty bad start right now, I'd say. Would really love to get something for this event so I can get a little bit of a boost in playing it because I'm still pretty low leveled as far as uh, my servants go. But this account has been relatively lucky considering I don't spend money on it. There we go, there's a 5 star event craft essence. That should definitely help. Okay, we got a servant here. Berserker could go gold. Nope, no gold. Alright, another servant. I lost track of exactly what I was on, but it's an archer, so I've lost interest in that. Alright, so that multi wasn't really that good, but we did get a 5 star event craft essence, so I'll take it, but let's see if we can get one of those new servants here. Alright, starting off with a servant. This assassin, not not what we're looking for. Okay, another servant. Another assassin. Not not what we're looking for. Not what we're looking for at all. Okay, another servant. Let's see what we get this time. It's a rider. Okay. Maybe we should maybe we should skip. I don't know. I guess it's kinda too late to do that at this point. Let's let it roll the way it rolls. Hmm. Was that an event craft essence? I know it's new. 
Not sure if that was uh, an event one or not. Got to double check. No, it was not. It was not an event craft essence. That is though. Okay, so we got one five star, one four star. We can get the three star, probably from just playing the first mission and doing friend points. But no luck on the servants yet. I won't be too disappointed if I don't get them. They're not really characters that were amazing in my opinion, but the, the foreigner did look really good, so that would be a little disappointing. But you can't really expect to get the, the five star event character in two multis, so I guess I really shouldn't get my hopes up for that. Not sure how many we have left, but we probably only have a couple, if mo if that. Alright, so that was it. We got three new craft essences. One of them was an event craft essence. No new characters for either of the multis. That's not too bad, though. Like I said, two multis. Can't expect too much. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you have fun with the event. I hope you pulled what you wanted to and had better luck than I did in your pulls. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you did like this video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I have the links below to my Twitter, Twitch, Patreon, and Discord. So feel free to check those out. And I'll see you guys next time.